I really didn't want to make this, but I feel like I have to. So for the last three years, I've been pressing in on what does it look like to be a woman of God? I feel like in my life, I had a lot of examples of godly men, but not so many examples of godly women. But I could see all throughout the scriptures that there was a clear distinction between godly men and women. So as I was following these godly men and mimicking what they were doing, it didn't feel right because I was seeing in the scriptures that there is a difference between men and women and how God wants us to operate and to act in the kingdom and that our roles are different. So I was really pressing in and praying on this topic for the last three years and God was expounding more and more and more. Um, but this last year, God taught me through experience the power of walking in the role of a godly woman and a godly wife specifically and just how powerful submitting and servitude truly is. That's a whole story for another time, but in short, God showed me the power of submitting, serving, and the power of that meek, gentle, and quiet spirit, and how there is power in being quiet, and how being quiet, submissive, loving, revering, respecting, and serving your husband does more than any words that you could say or preach to him which blew me away because I thought, you know, if I'm not telling him these things, he's never going to realize these things. But God was telling me to be quiet and to let him do it and just to serve and love and be in my role. And at first I felt like, you know, <laughs> the flesh, right? But God showed me there's so much power when we obey his word because there's literally power behind every single word of his. And there's a reason why he commands the commands that he does. Like the order that he created is flawless. And when we follow that, we will see the power of God behind it. But yes, it does require a lot of dying to self. And this is where a lot of people, women specifically, are getting tripped up. And that's what God spoke to me yesterday. So yesterday, God told me that all of what he wants for a woman of God is written out in the scriptures, but that many women don't follow this because of the deception of the flesh. So what happens when we follow God's word? You know, the flesh gets stirred up and it doesn't like it. Our flesh will have a reaction in some way, usually, where it doesn't feel good or it feels displeasing to the flesh essentially and and we can feel that you know but the more we walk in god's word the more the flesh dies right but it's getting to that point first like we have to suffer through the dying of the flesh god was speaking to me that many women are not doing this and that they're being deceived by the flesh they're viewing God's word and God's commands as oppressive and they're fighting for liberation, but this is not spiritual liberation. This is fleshly liberation and this is rebellion. And God revealed to me yesterday that I've been overstepping. And long story short, most of my videos I need to go through and delete them. And I don't know what going forward will look like. And I was someone who I don't believe in women preaching, teaching, pastoring, any of those things. And I was very careful, I thought, but I was still stepping out of my role. The Lord has really been highlighting to me the importance and the beauty of being hidden in my husband and how my husband is my covering and that it's his job to preach and teach and do all of those things where it's my job to serve and to serve him. The Lord actually reminded me of that yesterday and told me to focus on pleasing and loving and serving my husband, which is so beautiful, right? And I mean, Eve was created for Adam, you know, and I was created for my husband. So I need to put my focus on him and I need to reevaluate <laughs> and to just really seek God and to be in my role as a woman. And this is me publicly repenting for overstepping, you know, and making certain videos that I shouldn't have made that were on that line of, of teaching and, and just not what God wants me to do.
God used it, I will say, but just because God used something doesn't necessarily mean that it's his will. You know, God used even vessels of, of dishonor for his use, for he's truly God of and over all. And that's what he spoke to me yesterday, that he is God of and over all. And just because he uses something doesn't necessarily mean that it's his will. So it's not really a good way to judge if you're in his will or not. Obedience to his word is how you judge if you're in his will or not and there were scriptures i was clearly not in obedience with god's role for women is written out plainly in all of the scriptures and that's what god showed me and they are all still for today every scripture is god breathed and they're all for teaching edification reproof rebuke exhortation all of that Yes, even the ones our flesh hate the most. Yes, even the ones our flesh as women hate the most. But I can say that there is so much beauty in walking in those scriptures. And I'm still just at the beginning of really learning what it means to walk in them. But I've already seen the beauty that has come from it and the power behind it. You know, God's order is there for a reason. And when we walk in that order, there's fruit. But when we walk out of that order, there's dysfunction and chaos. And you can see that even in the world. The world does not follow God's order at all. And you can see the dysfunction between men and women because of it, and in the home and in the workplace and everywhere. And unfortunately, including in the church. Women, there should be a difference between you and men more than just the sound of your voice or how you dress or how you look your role is different and it's not a bad thing it's a beautiful thing it's such a beautiful and glorious thing and if you don't think it is i encourage you to pray and pray and pray and seek and seek and seek and search out the scriptures and ask god to change your heart in that area because it is such a beautiful thing I get it because I'm the least likely person to speak on these things because growing up I hung out with guys. I even thought of myself as a guy for a long time and it's only by the grace of God that he changed my heart and my mind in those areas and it was him that placed that in me of knowing that there's a difference between men and women and not just physically but their role and their role in the kingdom of God as well as in the world. So yeah, going forward, I don't really know what it will look like. Um, I do feel like God is going to use me in the area of marriage and talking about marriage and loving your husband and serving your husband and those kind of things. Um, and that is scriptural, praise God, um, because it does talk about that in Titus where uh, the older women were told to um, help and teach the younger women how to love and serve their husbands and how to love their children and how to be keepers at home and those sort of things. Um, so perhaps that will be in the future. But for now, I'm just going to be spending time with the Lord and really seeking him and pursing into him. And yeah, I don't know <laughs> what it'll look like for you guys uh, from me here on out. Yeah, women, really press in and know that your role is beautiful. And just because it's different doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Where even Jesus chose the role as a servant. And the least of you shall be called the greatest is what he said. And remember, if your flesh is fighting you pretty hard in an area, fight against it. Walk in accordance with God's word and watch. Watch what will happen. There's power and there's beauty, there's peace, there's freedom, there's joy found in walking in obedience to the word of the Lord. God bless you guys.